Hey everybody, this is uh, good morning, good morning. So I, uh, one of my rituals I like to do, because I do work out of my home office. I have been for many years. All my assistants work from their own homes. I have to meet them maybe, maybe once every two weeks, once a week. Um, I just prefer this. So uh, what that means, though, is that I have to get out of the house. I have to get out of the house just to clear my mind. That's the, that's the interesting thing about that whole experience. People go, yeah, I love the idea of the home office. And the home office is kind of cool. But uh, one of the things about the home office is that you can feel a little cramped in your house if you're there all day writing code or writing articles or whatever you're doing. So you have to make it a point to do two things. A, you got to get out, see people, clear the mind, and you also have to do some exercise as well. So, uh, yeah, this is my first vlog, I think, official vlog. I figured I'd try it out. I always, every morning, I drive to a particular coffee shop uh, that is uh, not exactly close to me. And it's not like they have special coffee or anything, but I just enjoy to drive. And one of the reasons I enjoy to drive is because I uh, I get to drive through um, the the park and the cemetery in Montreal. So I guess I'll show you guys what that's all about. So, yeah, so I'll just give you a view here. What's cool about this is, um, so this is a cemetery, excuse me. This is a cemetery. A lot of people get freaked out. Oh, cemetery? Steph, you're in a cemetery. That's crazy. Uh, I don't know. I'm not freaked out by cemeteries. I actually, uh, I figure, you know, one day this is, this is where I'm going to be. Uh, so this is kind of cool. Get used to your new home. Um, yeah. So, yeah, this is it. I, I like coming here because it's, it, it is a cemetery, but it's actually one of the the most beautiful and relaxing parks in the entire city. Mm. And you got great artwork, right? If you look here, look at the, look at the carvings here. And uh, actually, I'm going to show you something from, I actually sh shot a photo here that I used in my book, my web design book, and I'll show you what I shot here. This particular device, well, not device. If you bought my book, you may recognize this gravestone. So it's like, in this particular cemetery, because it's a very old one, it's the Mount Royal Cemetery, uh, you got a lot of monuments like that are just quite beautiful and uh, much better, much better location than a typical park. And uh, you got lots of flower arrangements. And I just like to come up here and relax. I like reading the headstones too, which is kind of interesting. You can get some historical figures, local historical figures, that are all buried here. So it's, um, yeah, that's about it. So my first vlog, I don't know if this is interesting to you, but this is one of the things I do. This is one of my rituals. I drive up here and I, I just relax. And another thing I do, I stretch my back. I know this is going to seem really weird, but I have this tree here. I don't know if you can see it. I call, I call it my hanging tree. And I actually hang from the tree uh, for about 20 seconds. Eh, 20, 30 seconds. This is stretch out my back. It's actually quite uh, quite relaxing. It opens up the back, the muscle in the back. It opens up the spine. And uh, when you're sitting all day, you're compressing your back a lot. So it's good to decompress the back by, by doing what they call traction. So you hang up and you hang from the tree. So then you stretch out your legs and everything and you get what you call traction. Opens up all the muscles, open up, opens up the spine. And uh, it helps with lower back pain in a huge way. The problem is you got to get a real strong hand grip, you know. Um, but uh, that's also cool too because if you're going to code, if you're going to be working on business, you have to have uh, a strong body because without a strong body, uh, your mind is going to be distracted by the aches and the pains and the fatigue and so forth. But so if you're a coder, an aspiring coder, and you don't exercise at least a couple of times a week, three times a week, you should, and you should consider exercise as part of your work because it's really important in terms of your uh, productivity. 
when you're in shape, and you don't have to be in great shape, but when you're in pretty good shape and you're healthy, uh, your ability to code, your ability to build your business is going to be uh, far, far, far better. So I would uh, highly recommend that you do that. And I highly recommend that you get out of the house. You uh, enjoy little walks through nature. If you have parks, if you're lucky enough or whatever. Uh, anyway, that's my recommendation. Okay, that's the end of this particular vlog. I'll end with a, one last view of the park. This is just a very small part of it. It goes on for a long way. That's it for now. Ciao, ciao. All right, I'm back. Uh, so I was just standing around checking my text, and all of a sudden these two random raccoons, I guess what other kind of raccoons would you find in a cemetery? So these two random raccoons just just came up to me. They were touching my legs, and, uh, you know, I guess they were looking for food. Anyway, I, I, I of course, I was fumbling with my camera. I couldn't get the, the bloody video to work. I don't shoot videos on my uh, my uh, phone here very often, so, and I choked, I choked, but I did get some video though, I did get some video of the raccoons, so I'm going to post this right after this particular clip here, yeah, yeah, the cemetery, uh, I talked about the cemetery uh, in a previous blog, I think, and uh, that's what it is, it's got all kinds of wildlife, I, mean, I forget, you can get pheasants, you get raccoons, uh, groundhogs, and all kinds of other stuff as well, no moose though. No moose, but uh, definitely uh, uh, lots of interesting little beasties. So, yeah, kind of domesticated. you got to watch it with raccoons, though, because they can have rabies. So you you got the raccoons. They could bite you, and, you know, you don't want to get rabies shots, because that just sucks. All right, we'll, we'll stop there. Bye. This is a wild raccoon. And he just responded to my, well, maybe you should tell him not to respond. There was two of them just before. Look at that. <laughs> mm, that's funny stuff.